getting off the streams by the way i'm not really a fan of the streams anymore i've kind of been uh, i'm a little bit over it i'm done um i'm gonna maintain and say i think djing should be reserved to clubs and club nights and bars and stuff it shouldn't be done online via live stream for you to enjoy remotely somewhere it's for you to pretend like everything's okay um offer you to pretend like that's fun because it clearly isn't i think part of, now we're definitely seeing the reason why people like stuff like boyroom is because you know it's a way for you to kind of be a voyeur and see other people having fun in the club somewhere where you're also at home but the idea of just being at home staring at someone play somewhere online is just not the lick for me um it's not fun it doesn't have any kind of appeal uh the people that are doing it are a little bit trash as well and the setups in general are just like really uninspiring in it they're kind of a bit sad in it for the most part seeing the kind of setups that people are using when they're playing online it's just like bloody hell man it doesn't seem like the right place to be you know, i've got a good but if you're gonna do it you can do it in a really fun way and show people that you um don't take yourself too seriously and i think this is a good example of it from uh this tech house dj called michael baby who was on live stream and unfortunately he uh took a bit of a long break and people seemed to notice his break that he was taking and someone put a clip of it online uh let's see if i can get it up on here bring it to the end to the start here put it up but this is him doing a live stream this is the this is the danger of doing live streams all the time actually you get occasions like this you get things like this happening so <laughs> fuck off <laughs> of course you know look i got i got nothing against that or i mean i think um i'm a big fan i've seen my djs have fun um i'm not a fan of the kind of ben ufo you know geek that knows everything about every record but doesn't look like he's you know ever had a bump in his life i'd like someone having a bit of fun laying their head down but that's hilarious and again it just goes to show the problems when it comes to live streaming at home you get too comfortable you think no one's looking again i don't know why he decided to put the plate underneath the deck so he could just have it to the side of the screen and walked off the school to our frame and i've not got got a bottle of water and pretending like he was doing that i don't know there's plenty of things he could have done as opposed to putting the plate underneath his fucking table but you know everyone's got to do what they have to do but i thought that was pretty lows um that of course isn't the main reason why. and again i just think the way they look is just a bit trash i think there was a video i saw recently actually of um a tale of us doing a live stream and just the way the equipment looks it just looks so sterile like you just your eyes get too distracted by because you're just staring at the person on the stage maybe that's the reason why because no one else in your in the actual room sharing the experience you just concentrate way too much on the actual equipment and i think this view of tale of us if i can find it here tale of us live stream what is it they played recently and it was a yeah this is the one um and it's just them standing in front of their studio right and it just it looks a bit naff maybe it's just me but it just looks a bit naff just look, look how many cables there. of course it's there for because they're using you know fucking three four turntables it looks like um but there's just so many cables there's just so much stuff there they got they're in their studio it's just <laughs> there's nothing really fun about it you know Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not a fan, man. I just don't think it necessarily brings out the best in them. But the interesting point of it is that somebody like a Taylor of Us, you know, one of the biggest crews out, or one of the biggest, you know, duos out there, can only go on a that amount of views, right? And it's at nearly 200,000 has been uploaded on the 22nd of April. And you see people like a shot of the wheel on the media lens rack up millions. I really, it's interesting to see the kind of the difference in numbers when it comes to streaming online as opposed to maybe it has any correlation with fees i'm not sure if it does but i'm sure they're in the same bracket when it comes to dj fees when it comes to shout out and namely the lens is probably in the same sort of bracket but somehow within the numbers on the views online they seem to somehow diverge show the ways on a whole nother scale up here and then these guys are all the way over there it doesn't make that much sense does it really which definitely goes to show that a lot of these bookers when they're booking people based on 
the amount of followers and likes they get how can you really quantify that because they're probably in there they're probably in the thousands and the way and those girls are probably on like millions right online maybe it's to do with the fact that they're women people will follow them more but I just find that really weird um that's the thing but yeah i'm just not for it i've kind of tapped out i might check a stream here and there and just look to just view it and see where they are setting wise but i just don't necessarily think it's a fun experience and it sort of kind of strips away any kind of fun that you would have in a club night looking at somebody just playing somewhere that thinks a bit it's a little bit naff in my experience but you know what do i know <laughs>